Good morning. Thank you for joining us today. We are talking my true identity online and do well to join us. We're live on Facebook and YouTube so that uh, we can do this together. This is today's live on Equa television and on sets today. I have Joyce Jakada, I have Jamima Emmanuel and I have engineer Tony J. Nakali. We're right Good here. Morning. Good morning all. Okay. All looking good. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank God it's Friday. Yeah. What's up? You don't want to say we're looking good today so that you avoid <laughs> another question of, oh, so other days we don't look good. Oh, no, well, I'm just trying to say, okay, it's, it's weekend, so what's happening? Is it that we're looking this jaded because maybe later? Um, <laughs> you know how your boss can just decide to treat you on so Friday. Stop, you stop, know, stop saying what is not in your mind. <laughs> <laughs> Later we can go for evangelism. Uh -huh. <laughs> Do you not notice that Joyce's smile on Fridays hmm. are different? Hmm. <laughs> what is it about Friday that you're excited about all the time? Just like we go for evangelism after work. We Who is we? Monday. You have started speaking French now. We, we, we. Who is we? You know, after work, I get to engage in evangelism. Personal activities. evangelism. Yes. Finish on Sunday. Jamila, we were going for evangelism one time when the pastor announced they broke us into groups. They now said, okay, you people are going this way. Somebody said, he is not going to that area that they know him there. <laughs> So they said they said it's fine, it's mm, fine. Mm. You are still work in progress. We mm. understand. So you go this way. There's somebody else to come out. <laughs> it's a beautiful well, day to be yeah, alive. Honestly. Well, see see that, you know, that 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 drew my attention to identity. Who are you oh. in your area? Mm. But today, Friday, we talk about social media. Mm. Who are you on that platform? What is your true identity? Do we still find people that are genuine on online? Line? Well, it, I think um, it is something everybody, we are all guilty of wanting. Yeah. Uh, nobody is 100% genuine on social media, mm, okay. including yours truly, because mm. you want to make sure that what you are posting mm. is what looks good about you, so you, you are not misunderstood mm -hmm. or misrepresented. Yes, right, yeah. but the fact is, when you have to lie about who you are not mm. online, I think that is the point that um, we should hammer on on, mm. on the show today. Mm. But mm. do you know what? Yeah the reality of who you are on social media i don't look at what you post what you say what you look like who you are on social media as the sum total of who you are yeah. i'm just dealing with a fake person no matter how you try to explain to me so what i know is that your life off air or offline mm. as the case may be <laughs> <laughs> is who you really are even online hmm if Joyce has two pairs of clothes offline, but she has 7,000 online, then we definitely know that the real Joyce that is struggling with that blue skirt and yellow top and that green blouse and white skirt mm. is the real person that we are dealing with. So your identity on social media has nothing to do with my beliefs about who you are. Your identity offline line is who you really are as far as me i'm concerned well, so if i don't know you mm, offline mm, i cannot see you online and be oh wow this is let me no mm, 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 not okay. me okay not me okay. okay i know that we live in a time where people try to fake things or people try to fake it till it becomes real mm. and people me post, and you do it people post me no, and you no, do it <laughs> no. joyce can you wake up in the morning i don't understand me and you <laughs> i have seen me. i have seen joyce you have seen uh -huh. i don't understand <laughs> shake 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 into the fire <laughs> speak for yourself <laughs> no i, I, I have you, to speak you, for you too why? i have to speak for you whether you like it or not i don't understand as colleagues <laughs> yes, yes we have traveled together mm. we have had breakfast together mm. sometimes i wonder 
Is, is, it, is it? That's Joyce. Is it? I saw her one time with one low cut. That low cut never went online. <laughs> what I remember is that haircut. You know, everybody does. It never went online. You see, that's what I said earlier. Mm-mm. And I said, you and I. Before you post, sir, you can see, but you have three or five pictures mm-hmm. with the same attire, mm-hmm. but you pick the best to post. Mm-hmm. Why? Hmm. It's not, there's nothing wrong. You're just looking for what befits you. Okay. You understand? That's why I say you and I. Mm. I uh, uh, go and check Joyce's I beg to disagree. Go and check her I want post. to speak for myself. Joyce, I have your picture with that no low cut. No problem. You. Go, you are playing volleyball. You look like something from Michael Jackson's thriller. <laughs> See? I know I watched it when I was not born again. So. <laughs> I'll go and post that picture. No problem. Post it. It's okay. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. What is no? So no, is, I also so have a picture. Mm. Oh no, that one will affect noise to like very well. Okay, of well. them in the bus when we went for worship the king last year. Oh, no. They were looking like some rejected <laughs> human beings from Coma Hills. As it, <laughs> it was just sat in front, but the camera got her. You know, I use an expensive phone mm-hmm. online mm-hmm. has mm-hmm. you wouldn't have known who is there. <laughs> but it got her. If you saw Joyce's, <laughs> I will post that picture. Hmm. I'll post I, we are talking about my identity. Am I not the one that should present my identity? It's the is same identity that, that is on my phone. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> That's why I said offline. Who you are offline is who you really are. Not what you post. Because people polish what they post. They post. Mm. Even me. Hmm. I have had pictures. Uh-uh, sir, there was a picture I looked terrible, but I was with a very great personality. Hmm. He looked fine. I looked till today. I've not posted that picture. Till today, I've not posted that picture. Why? Because I didn't look good. I don't want to be misrepresented. <laughs> <laughs> so does that mean it's a fake life? No. Mm-mm. I went to the man. I saw him. Mm. And we, we had a picture together. We took a picture together. Mm. I would have posted that picture if I looked as good as I want to look. Mm. But I said, there should be an exception to certain things. Mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So I decided not to post that. Mm-hmm. So everybody is guilty of that. Mm-hmm. If they give you five pictures of you, You take the pictures to see the one that is good. <laughs> then you post it. Why is your DP the one that is there? Why is it the that, one that, that is flipping, there? That flipping, is it the album? Okay, okay. It's the phone. Oh. I'm just letting you know how, be- how bougie people check. Oh. I gave one bougie mother the, my phone to see the pictures of her daughter's wedding. Hiya. <laughs> People be waiting for wow. you. <laughs> that can never be good. Can yeah. you still remember the point you were going to make earlier? Well, we live in a world where we live in a world where <laughs> people want to fake it till it becomes real. real. But I'm of the opinion: why fake what can be real? You can mm. work towards making it real You're rather real. than faking it. Mm. When it has to do with social media, like of course people put up images people put up write up they engage in activities that um like tell to some extent tell who they are mm. while your perception of those people might differ how you might say like engineer tony would say just said now you what like you I rightly said what you post like i rightly said okay your perspective now no, like i rightly <laughs> said it's like, not correct don't quote me okay he said <laughs> what you post <laughs> For him, that's not your identity. There's there's another picture of who you are. Mm. But a lot of times, in as much as people want to select the best or want to put up the best impression or representation, mm. somehow your your identity, your true self show like shows up. Shows up. Because consistently, wh- when you're trying to fake it to become real, when you're trying to be a different person, it does not last that long. Mm. Apart from picking your best picture, I'm mm. talking about your activities now on social media. Mm. And that's why people will post and they will tell you that when you take me serious or if you think this is who I am, then you are on your own. Mm. But you see, talking about the activities that Please people... Please, Solo, take note of that. I think we should talk about that too. Okay. Mm-hmm. So when mm-hmm. people, were, your activity, you see your identity on social media it has to do with the image or the personnel you put out there. It can be in form of your profile picture, your profile itself, mm-hmm. your, the activities you engage in in different digital platform or social media platform. Now, it to some extent, it defines who you are mm-hmm. because it, it's like out of the abundance of the heart, 
the mouth speak it. And even if you want to say that this is not who you are, you're just doing it in the midterm or to catch crews. Mm. Like you cannot be catching crews for the rest of your life. I've mm. known people that lost jobs uh, on job opportunities because of the activities they engage in on social media. And they said, this is not who they are, but they're just trying to just catch you crews be of belong. Mm. So for mm. me personally, when I want to know people better, I go to your timeline. Like apart from who you say you are, mm. like your social media platform or the image you put out there says a lot for me about who you are as well. Sometimes I go on your timeline and go through your activities. There are times that when I see friend requests, I don't need to engage the person in conversation to know who he or she is. I just go to your timeline and I skip History scrolling. of their post. Yes. Mm. I go through that. Sometimes I, I, I go even down to your comments mm. to see your reactions. Too. so it tells me to an extent this is who you are like I, I like i can say that this is how you think these are your ideologies and what shape you mm. recently i was recommending someone for a particular job and before i did that i went to the person's timeline and i was checking and when i checked because you say you are into this business at least your social media handle should not be your business should not be outside like at least there should be something that redirect people to what you are into and I did, and I was like, oh, wow, I think it's it's mm. good. We live in a time where everybody wants to make a uh, contribution as to what is trending or issues, even without finding out what is really happening. happening. So for me, it's, it says a lot about who you are, True. the image. Like we live in a global society right now that everything is moving beyond like the physical interaction that we, we used to have like in days of old mm. now you can just have a community on social media you keep chatting interacting and if you are having a group meeting for example you can tell that this is the person that will always take people to the left <laughs> because over time the person has showed, showed that image mm. so it says a lot for me your true identity online your the activity you engage in speaks a lot about your true identity yeah your so, true identity the kind of things you post the kind of things you you indulge yourself with the kind of tags that people um involve you with mm. shows who you are if mm. someone tags you in something that is not nice i think there are options that you can untag yourself mm. or you can even tell the person i am i won't condole such mm. in the next future so the kind of things you do show who you are mm. yes we're not um, going to see you physically to, to confirm if that is really who you are but you can't be posting things that are dark colored and you would be saying no no you actually prefer things that are light colored no mm. you, it shows who you are so when, when you're writing things that are not nice and you're saying people should not rate you based on that so how else are people supposed to rate you mm. they don't know where you live they don't know your family they don't know anything even if they know they don't have the time to do all of that mm -hmm. so why should people rate you based on what they do not know i was talking to someone earlier today and i was saying it's just like knowing someone that limps mm -hmm. someone that does not walk straight mm -hmm. and then every day you see this person limping and then he will come and tell you if you think i don't know how to walk straight you're on your own if you think i am the limping type you're on your own but that is who you are mm -hmm. you even if you want to walk straight today mm -hmm. There has to be something that you do. Maybe they have to increase the other leg or do something to make you do that. You are not nice. <laughs> <laughs> of all the examples available in the world, I don't know where yeah? this one has to yeah, come. You are picking on I'm saying it. <laughs> you don't want to laugh. Light. Because <laughs> <laughs> no, but but really, you you can't <laughs> come and say that is not the kind of person you are. That mm, is mm, an example of in reality. Um, that's your who true you are. self. Mm. You are writing things that are related to something, but you're saying that is not who you are. That mm. is who you are, mm. my dear. Mm. So it is important that you you checkmate what you do. Your phone would not just go and write things for you mm. because you gave him the permission. You used your hand. In to fact, do it is that. a concited effort. Yes. Mm. It is a concited effort. Mm. People sit down after selecting a picture, they write. Mm. they delete mm. they write they delete until mm. they get what seemed to be right you're right mm. where is that coming from your mind yes mm. even, your, if, it's, it's even if you want to make mind. a video to post online you're 
your your intentional about how you speak mm. it's not like you're lying but you just want to be sure that you're doing well you can make that video yep. like three times you say no 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 i made an error here mm. let me do it well you're not faking it you mm. just want to give the best of it mm. that is your true self mm. that is your and that, true that, self. That's, that's what i was trying to say earlier mm. that you have to get it near perfect mm. if you don't want to be misunderstood or misrepresented misrepresent, misrepresent yourself mm. so you have to get it right but you see sir like I was trying to tell you to remember the point that Joyce just, made mm -hmm. earlier. Mm -hmm. Why would you post something and say if you believe that you're it's your, your business, own. me, I'm just catching crews? No, it is coming from your mind. Mm -hmm. Your mind believed in that post yeah. mm -hmm. and your mind interpreted that information to your hands. Mm -hmm. Your mm -hmm. hands picked up the phone. Mm -hmm. You bought the data mm -hmm. and then you after typing it your mind told you it was okay you can post it, mm -hmm. post it. and you did mm -hmm. we just carry these things as, and there are so many functions on all of these platforms mm -hmm. that we don't even know you are talking about people tagging you mm -hmm. i think i wake up to over a hundred <coughs> tags every day mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, Facebook had made it easy, especially on Facebook. Mm -hmm. If you just say at followers, mm -hmm. everybody that follows you will see the post. Mm -hmm. Automatically, you have tagged everybody. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you see 500 tags. You say from where? Mm -hmm. But you know what? If it's offensive, mm -hmm. I don't just hide it. You know, if you click, uh, um, I think, repost or something, mm -hmm. it goes to your timeline also, mm -hmm. meaning you have accepted the post, you have agreed to it, and then it can be on, on your timeline. Time mm. Sometimes I hide the post. Mm. Once it's hide is once it, I hide it, it's another form of saying it is deleted from your platform, but it exists on its platform. Mm. If it's something that fights what I believe, I go and report the the account. Mm. 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 But no, who? How many people have time for that? Mm. Believe me, there was a time somebody loaned an account of one of our executives yeah mm. i started asking people for money and people started sending and then he was like ah he wants to do this eh? he, somebody said call gm so when i went all i did was to screenshot the fake account mm. after i screenshot the fake account we posted it around social media platforms and we just asked people go and report don't do anything don't comment anything just go and report this and tell facebook that the person is an imposter he is impersonating mm. the, the, uh, the, the person of xyz mm. that's not the real account before we knew it with all his followers and everything his account was taken down mm. facebook mm. less than two days mm. So there are ways that you can you can report, and when you say report, mm. you give reasons why you are reporting the person. Mm. And if your reason is not listed, you click on others, yes. and mm. then you write what is in your mind and what the person has done. When they receive a number of similar uh, complaints, complaints. Mm. they block the account or they suspend the account, mm. depending on the magnitude. Mm. But our own, as far as we are concerned, what's on your mind? What, what, what does facebook say what's, what's, on, what's, what's, in, your what's, your mind? what's in your mind mm. you just go and say today you just post nonsense and mm. pass mm. if that post is not going to be positively impacting somebody mm. i think it's not necessary making the post and mm. sometimes they call it trend like okay this is what is trending now everybody is posting it so let me also join and post it yeah, just and sometimes if you rich. don't if you don't post it they they, they, they make comments like ah all these matured people mm. that's who i am that's who i am <laughs> over maturity i am and all. i am grateful that you you recognize that i'm mature that means your post is childlike mm. Mm. your post is childish mm. and you are calling me matured person if me and you are on the same level you would have seen a, a share a comment or a like mm. it's just amazing so, how people do all of these things and they expect you to also fall for it exactly. and then you do you are maintaining your steeds and then they want they to are that you're not doing it like i'm talking about church, yeah maintaining your, uh, some level of your confidence your humanity does not have to show up where church, where no church. it just depends on the perspective you see it. people define these things differently but it just has to do with your level of confidence your integrity and we're in a time where you have to maintain integrity mm. because the world will present a lot of things for you to just fall fall for or fall in for mm. so imagine that you you have a presence online 
how would you want people to to see you? See you. And, and Tony spoke about representation. Mm. What you are sending out there says something about who you are, mm. and that is why sometimes you see people physically, and you're like, you know, that get that fought last week with somebody on mm. the see her, mm. Mm. and nobody wants to do business with you. You mm -hmm. sometimes I think on behalf of those people, you are into <laughs> business, <laughs> and then you are like your 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 reputation or your image online it's terrible it's terrible so who do you want to do business with you you just engage somebody somebody just patronize you and the person told you oh i'm going to pay you so, so maybe next week and then you accept it okay send me the goods and the next thing is that you're calling the person's name is family people online say this person is a terrible person and why did you accept in the first place mm. sometimes i say if you are into business there are certain things you don't even do mm. like not just business but as an individual whether you're into or you're not into you have a future you have a plan you have a goal mm -hmm. there are things that we do today that we think we're just catching phone mm -hmm. but it will catch up with you tomorrow mm -hmm. definitely mm -hmm. sometimes people come out for political uh, position or they're aspiring for political position and you see people digging deep to years back and bringing so and you're wondering i thought i deleted it mm -hmm. but they are putting it to you that this mm -hmm. is it to till tomorrow screenshot. when there's an issue during the uh, fuel hike mm. people revisited all the agitators during good luck mm. jonathan mm. and they were bringing out their posts and all the things they haven't said. you seen haven't you seen screenshots of newspapers from before we were born mm. true mm. true mm. and I'm, I'm just wondering where did it come from ah, so right now there are people that have kept things for, from 2019 mm. not 2023 or from 2019 mm. because they are waiting for mr xyz he's going to contest something yes mm. so we are waiting mm. from 2019 is kept mm. is shared amongst devices yeah. in case one crashes, crashes. they will go and visit mm. there are you just as much as it lies with you you live at peace with all men True. <laughs> you let your identity that's, that's be at wisdom. peace <laughs> yeah. let your identity be at peace you said something earlier sir that um um you don't see people you know on facebook mm. and just conclude that's mm. who they are because mm. you don't have a physical contact with them mm -hmm. yes some. I some yes some. some should we should we see people that way the reason why i'm asking this question is because we are global community right mm. because social media made us to mm. be global community mm. that we are we are closely knitted and then we we'll do business without us meeting people mm. online and then some businesses are successful online not meeting physically that means that person that you're doing business with has some level of integrity and trust in what he does even though there is not that establishment of physical uh interaction okay the reason why i ask that question is because some people will say okay because i don't have i will not maybe in future i may not probably meet jamima or tony nakade mm. in my life but i know he will always see my post mm. so why can't i just project something different mm. because i will not meet him so he will not he will not see the other side of me mm. to even think otherwise mm. that i am mm. in quote mm. right mm. so in 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 this kind of uh uh scenario mm. you know how how can someone approach that because the reason is that the way people push things like joyce said earlier people will just push everything and just want you to believe and if you don't believe they find it offensive mm. like they are believing what you believe <laughs> they find it offensive so in in this kind of situation that yes we are closely knitted because of the social media and thing and people throw things and people have their own different perspective of how they see people mm. on social media you just mentioned one mm. so i just bring in it to just open it mm. so how can we deal with such such situation do you do you have a messenger on your phone yes when I you do. are not friends with anyone they can send you a message mm. but messenger will tell you someone wants to send you a message yeah. even mm. though the message has been sent mm. Mm. So when you go and read the message, mm. there is decline or accept. Mm. You are not friends. That means you are not friends mm. on mm. Facebook. Mm. WhatsApp 
will tell you someone sent you a message however they are not on your contact list yes. mm. these are all warnings that people don't care about mm. ah this person can chat let me accept you are not just accepting a chat you are accepting an individual mm. Mm. when people come and make posts online mm. facebook and it, it will even interest you to know that every second there are millions of things posted on facebook yes how many million people are on facebook mm. then you think how many of them are jobless mm. when you think of the number of the jobless ones mm. they outweigh the ones that have jobs True. so they are always online mm. they are available to chat mm. sir what am i looking for first of all on facebook we don't care about these applications and their functions that is why we don't know them that well. Relationship status, single, married, divorce Complic is complicated. complicated. <laughs> Options. Why didn't they just sing single or married? So that you can choose the one, you know. Okay. Gender. Male, female, both. I would rather not say anything. Or rather not say. Have you seen that? These are all things that are aligned with who you are. Mm. This function should not be disregarded. Check mm. them well. If they are useless, they wouldn't be on the app. Of course. Mm. But we just go, friends request, they ac accept. <laughs> friends request, accept. I didn't know that there are people who are like me. See, Joyce, what she just said. Mm. You have to go to your post. Mm. My yeah. own, I want to see the people that I'm, we are mutual friends with. Mm. Mm. If I see that there are people that don't have sense, I will leave that your request there. As a matter of fact, I am even struggling right now. Mm. I have three Facebook accounts. They are all filled up. I'm struggling with who I should remove and add or I should do another. But I will keep asking myself. I, I think I've even said it on the show one time. Who are all these people? Mm. Do I know them? Mm. The answer is no. There are people that will just say, hey, Solomon Sambo, I've met you in person today. Ah, can I take a picture? Mm. Say, where have you met me before? Ah, on Facebook. Facebook. You know us, but we know you. Mm. <laughs> yes. I, I prefer it to be that way. Mm. That we are friends on Facebook does not mean I want to share shirts with you. Mm. Does not mean I want to take you out for lunch or dinner or we should go and play golf or do anything together. No. You, you see, people don't prioritize the reason why they jump on such platforms yeah. mm. of course it's a place for friendship it's a place for business it's a place for relationships it's a place for all of that but with who mm. that's the question with who and why and why, and why? exactly why? Mm. Why? exactly mm. and for once exactly <laughs> and why <laughs> thank you <laughs> and why because you just don't flock with people mm. because you need to hit that five thousand mm. I'm, I'm bored who is available you see th these things make me i have <laughs> yesterday i was checking my my second phone mm. which is almost like an irrelevant phone <laughs> if you hear me say zero eight one give you that number you just know that <laughs> you should know that you have you have entered i saw a reply with that number i was like wow <laughs> <laughs> you are thinking the phone is dead <laughs> yes, it's, it's alive I'm, I'm seeing things on that phone but I went and noticed that I blocked, I didn't know when, 1,400 and something people. Wow. Mm. 1,400 and something people. Who will take me out for lunch? Mm. It's Freaky Friday, no one is calling. You are a prostitute. Mm. Mm. I didn't know I wouldn't have had your number. Mm. But mm. since you came and, ah, well done, I'm a fan, can I have your number? And then I'm seeing who you really are now. Mm. What do I do? The best way to avoid dealing with you further is to break the only link between you and I. Mm -hmm. So I block you, first of all, then I mute you. That way I don't see your status, I don't see your comments, I don't see anything. You don't, you cannot reach me. As a matter of fact, the way I do it, my picture will be missing. Mm -hmm. So you don't, you, you are also not kept up with my activities. Mm -hmm. How many people are that intentional about their accounts? 
we just always see social media or an online presence as the in thing like trend everybody needs to be there we don't ask but that's the, but that's the in thing like like that's how we see it and that's how we approach it we i understand her why. context of like we, we, like, we don't like work should not matter life should not matter, matter. anything just do just what social is media. happening mm. i mean but there are certain questions that are prerequisite that are sacrosanct as far as your activities on social, social media, media is concerned we're talking mm. about identity i spoke earlier how certain people lost on job opportunity mm. lost on so many things because of the presence their activities on mm. social media and then we cannot rule it out because mm. there are also some people that got things right or things working for them because of their activities on social, social media, media. Yes. like i know of a young lady that okay she got talking with this young man and eventually they met physically and like there, there were some kind of compatibilities they got married there was another lady that got a, a business opportunity because of what she was doing like mm -hmm. there was one we made reference to to this like in plateau state how that this girl still selling tomato as a graduate and mm. today she's she her business she has made over a million naira and um, a lot of i've seen mm. how that blogs newspapers are carrying her story mm. how that she utilized her online presence to build herself mm. up so what image are you putting out there are you seeing it as trend and let me just follow the ladies what from happening. plateau yes okay. are, are you are you just engaging in it because you have something you want to achieve in mm. In, mm. in that platform mm. we should not just be carried away by trends and happenings mm. or what is mm, trended you see everybody when there's an issue at some point a celebrity was getting married everybody's posting and i see the young girl in your church that got pregnant and she was put on that church the screen you didn't post her you didn't say anything you, about did you even pray for her you didn't even pray, pray for, for her, her. Mm. but you see a celebrity or secular musician uh, like a lady getting pregnant and you're posting and saying oh this looks good on you like look at the level Someone of you don't know and you may never even meet so so I it's don't not who even cares about what they know is is the premise upon which they did what they did mm. well is it right for you as a christian so, mm. so you are glorifying a particular scene yeah mm. i mean mm. every, you have to look at it different like a yes. lot of young people at that point were posting this particular um circular music um artist like they were changing their dp to mm. her picture saying how that this pregnancy looked good at, on her mm. like some of these ladies are christians but you are the same person that was criticizing your christian sister because she got pregnant at home but so look at wh why why are you posting the pictures because everybody is posting mm. and everybody mm. is commenting and that's how some of us approach social media or even our identity or our presence on social media mm. once th once there's an issue or there's something trending we also want to be hard mm. we also want people to see that yes which we are part, part of this of is, we're not asking but wait what actually happened Hmm. why am i commenting in this what do i actually want to, to achieve, achieve. Hmm. i think when we ask this we are going to have like an identity that will not be far from who we are in hmm. reality hmm. because I, I don't understand why physically i'm this online i'm that hmm. let it reflect and that's why for some people no matter how you try to convince them that what you post is not who you are they can never believe you hmm. because you cannot separate every day you're posting your picture almost naked apple of god i don't wake all those kind of things and you're saying it's not you you're just mm -hmm. catching crews or you say oh tgif who is available for the weekend oh i'm bored and this and you say oh you you're just catching crews oh that's not who you are i'm not even available how do you want people to separate that mm -hmm. if you are not available why post that exactly. you don't even have to write it you don't even, even if you don't write it there there are things that there, there are postures that you that you tell people that i'm actually available mm. you don't even have to say it mm. so but when people now call you prostitute you are angry when people say you are into hookup you get angry <laughs> no you, you should just know my my career mm. but don't help me don't, spread don't it. Don't spread it. Don't say it. <laughs> i mean we need to build an identity mm -hmm. that is true mm. yeah. in as much as people are trying to fake it to become real people are trying to just move along with the train mm. like can you just be true to yourself joyce mm. have we Pace. ever mm been concise been been um uh intentional mm. that's right, that's the word have we ever been intentional about how people distinguish our efforts as christians mm. you should just wake up and say ah i can't be like jamima mm -hmm. that girl is so wayward i can't mm -hmm. be like her i want to remain the christian that i am I can never ever show any of my body part out. Mm -hmm. I can't be. 
you are not saying it because you are trying to know you are saying it because it's your nature it's your nature mm. you are just acting who you are mm. but today we don't know who is born again mm. we don't know there is a there is a girl on facebook from plateau mm. i don't know her one-on-one -on -one, but i'm looking for a systematic way mm. of stopping friends with her she has sent me messages. She's a fan. She's impressed. She's this. She's that. But when I see her post, mm. I am like, Anya. Mm. And then one day I saw her with EYF uniform. Mm. Yes. Mm. EYF means Equa Youth Fellowship. In mm. case you are thinking it's... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> he says, mm. I saw her with that. And I'm like, whoa. That's not just a piece of cloth. It's part of your identity. Mm. Yes. It's part of your identity. Mm. Somebody saw a picture of me and a, a state governor and I was wearing the youth fellowship clothes. He said, Kai, this picture is fine. I wish you were wearing something else. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Then I said, like what? He said, like what the governor? I said, no. This is what fits. Yes. He came with an identity. I also came with mine. Of course. Mm. So you see, sir, some of these things that we do, mm. we are not just trying to let people know uh, in case you have been thinking this way, this is who I am. Or no, mm. Mm. it is just the reality mm. of your existence. Mm. Mm. So let every Christian, and I think by trying to be beacon in every situation, mm. that is just the way out. Let mm. every Christian show that my religion or my belief has more of modesty mm. than it has the negativity. Mm. Mm. And your identity should just flow freely from you. Mm. You don't have to um, try to gather or even audience. try to embellish it. No, yes. it's just mm. you don't try need, to explain. Yes, you don't need a crowd <laughs> to be gathered in one mm. place and then you come and showcase anything. Let mm. it just flow from you, mm. because um, from from the physical it goes to um, the online as well. People just know you, and mm. there are certain people that leave um, indelible marks online that someone will just meet them for the first time physically and call their name and mm. be like you did this you did that that is who you are mm. that is who you are mm. and others do such terrible things online that when someone sees them even if they know him he is trying to hide mm. because he does not want to be attached to that kind of person mm. so mm. you should just be who you are for the right reason of course mm. you don't have to follow trend you don't have to follow what others are doing sometimes um like what he said earlier on when, when you have a lot of pictures you want to select the best and put it everybody wants to put his or her own best mm -hmm. on the social media so if you are going to follow all of that depression will catch you mm. comparisons will catch you mm. because you will not see the worst that anybody is writing only the best, the best. and you'll be feeling oh this ones they yeah. have their life figured out already mm. so why is mine like this you why am i out. doing that mm. so you're, you're trying to do um negative things just to be able to meet up to what people are showcasing mm. out there mm. so when you see anybody writing anything doing this or that just work on yourself and do the best that you can to show your own true identity don't get carried away by what anyone is doing and don't follow anybody's timing as well when you start mm. following people you can only be their second version you mm. can never it means that your true self is suffering mm. so sometimes we get carried away by people's identity online yes and possibly like she said the person is just faking it mm. and then you are carried away by it you're trying to be that person your uniqueness is suffering mm. so you must learn to be you and by being you is by being intentional about your goals your purpose your principles your values mm. let it show in your activity on social media mm. don't let anybody force you or move you into a life that you that is not who you are yeah. and you, you know it, it's just unfortunate that we live in a time that you can it's difficult for you to say whether this person is a christian or this person is not a christian like you can't differentiate but christians of old they do not need to even say mm. i am a christian mm. or feel any form and say i'm a christian or put on their forehead people can just see them and say this person is a mm. christian because mm. of the christ-like attitude mm. they see in mm. them mm. but today we go on social media and we are we are more like uh, we are in the world where we have to behave like the world so you see us, you see the people that are in the world, like there's no difference in terms of our profile, in terms of our activities, the things we post, the activities, like there's no difference and it's quite unfortunate. So we must go back to our identity. Who are you? What are your values? It should also translate beyond your physical interaction. Let's also see that in, on, in, online. When people check your profile, when people check your activities on different digital platforms, they should say, oh, 
oh this is really who joyce is and mm-hmm. this is like this lady is a christian mm-hmm. not that people are confused because today you are posting oh glory be to god in the highest amen tomorrow you are putting one shaku shaku and then I mean, where do you stand? It's, it's, it's Christians that help promote terrible things in this country. True. Mm. When, as a matter of fact, your nature should fight any negativity. Mm. When you see things, you post against them. Mm. You don't believe them. Mm. You don't even share them, but you post against them. Mm. You see, when something comes out and is trending and it does not glorify God, mm. the only time you see Christians identifying with the cross is Sunday morning. Mm. Mm. They play gospel songs there's nothing wrong with that mm. but there's everything wrong with the reason why you selected just a particular and the next thing you see you see now sir yeah, if yeah. you follow the trends of social media mm. you see somebody posting her mother dead r.i.p move to the next slide mm. something in entirely irrelevant mm. to the death of the mother mm. Mm. or somebody saying i'm in tears oh god why now gone too soon mm. ah i can't imagine living without you mm. and the next thing you see her maybe having lunch or something mm. it's contradicting in times mm. in terms mm. so oh, christians should wake up and be intentional about who they are mm. Mm. as a matter of fact we need something different online mm. we need something sometimes i make a post and it bothers me that one hour later i don't have five comments yeah mm. <laughs> but sometimes if boys will ask me ah ah have you gone to check how many people the post has reached? Mm. Sometimes 200, 300,000 people. Mm. But no comment, no likes. Mm. So if you are waiting for that thing to be reciprocated, that's the beginning of your frustration. Sure. Mm. Mm. We went to pick a dead person at the mortuary uh, recently. And then they came to pick a boy too, who, who was picked after hours. And then his, somebody was saying, that he was nice, he was kind, he was not loud on social media, he was just, he was just a cool-headed guy. But he killed himself. Mm-hmm. In this our hosp- this plateau hospital, he killed himself. Mm-hmm. What happened? It was after he died mm-hmm. that they found out that he has been living with a pain from December. A pain from December. How many months now? About eight months. Mm-hmm. December till July. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, Just yeah. Six months. Seven. You have to add the month that he started. He conceived the idea. Too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so, but you, you, you it's can true. check. Mm. He was quiet and all that, mm. so it was difficult to tell. Mm. He was not making posts. He was not doing this. Sir, do you know how many people? Who Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram, Telegram, all of these platforms are places where they go and find peace. Mm. It will shock you. So this gospel we have not started preaching yet. Mm. Yet we are fighting ourselves as Christians. Mm. We are not harmonized. Mm. The devil is busy having a swell day. Mm. He sends in something and he leaves you with your conscience. Mm. He sends another one, he leaves you with your conscience. It's either what is raining now is this trend or this challenge mm. or that challenge and who are the people helping christians, christians to promote the challenge that does not glorify god mm. Mm. who are you that is why i said sir i will not believe anything i see online mm. about your personality no i will mm. not mm. if i want to believe it let me have time with you mm. then i talk with you mm. then i understand who you are then i can decide maybe that thing that i've been doing is wrong mm. about the person not mm. generally mm. I, sh- I should think about the person again mm. if not mm. sir you cannot be anytime you want to take oh wait 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 wait, wait oh. let me go and carry my ex- most expensive this my ex- most expensive that mm. and then i post and then later haven't you seen people who didn't even know it was a video you are doing mm. and then suddenly they found out it was video and then they <laughs> True. yeah you just you just you just sit still so that you can you, you can look well and res- represented but christians must mm. be intentional mm. about how people distinguish their efforts like joyce said mm. you don't have to announce or you don't have to have it written on your foreheads mm. that you are a christian mm. you leave it you act it yes. and then people will see it and even glorify your father mm. that is in heaven and and True. you said you you mentioned i think you make this point more clearer now 
that you said you will not believe uh whatever you see on someone on social media until you have one-on-one -on -one interaction that means a deeper discussion with the person but 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 to add to it yes there are people that you will not meet in life can you be real to them even on social media i cannot that, be sad that, because why 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 would i want to base my knowledge about no i'm, I'm you? talking to the person mm. like for instance me now mm. for instance you will leave not to meet me anywhere yeah so why can't i just be truthful to just myself yeah, whether see, i meet you I or not what i'm trying to say whatever you are doing just be truthful mm. because you never can tell when you will meet the person mm. that will look at you whether from the angle of that person somebody a pastor yeah, yeah. a young pastor made a post recently i laughed i yeah. called him i said why he said no it's annoying mm. that people that are begging you for money appear richer than you online exactly and these people don't tell you thank you i made a post one time i said look mm. if you cannot support what i do mm. don't ask me as a hustler mm. and you have the got to beg me for something and i gave it to you and you can't even say thank you I'm, i don't mean publicly you mm -mm 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 -mm. have you haven't you sent people support and they reply thanks or sin <laughs> do you understand mm. i i i expect you I, I we are like our father god he wants us to come back and say thank you, thank you yeah. the next time when you are asking we can do more mm. if you look at the velocity with which they ask and you look at I the same velocity with which they that. thank <laughs> Somebody can spend three days disturbing you we once you do it and text and, and text everything constantly coming like and once you do it, um, you see thanks, thanks or seen or received. Mm. Until much, their next three. Until they <laughs> as much in as much as um you are talking about people being true. Mm. In as much as um we want people to be true, we should also be discerning mm. because there are people that will pretend to be all good mm. on social media mm. but in disguise they are um wolf yes yes like sheep clothing, in sheep clothing. Mm. and that's why people end up being scammed mm. and that's why people end up doing business with people that are are mean people mm. that don't mean well for them but mm. in when you go on their social media platform their identity is of like somebody that is good somebody that is decent somebody mm. that is responsible mm. but in reality they are the opposite mm. so let's let's also be discerning and that's why the scripture says study to show yourself approved mm. my people perish for lack, lack of, of knowledge. knowledge so we should seek knowledge so that we can be able to discern this kind of people mm. who will not take decision to do business or to do things with people that at the end of the day to be detrimental to mm. us a lot of people lost their lives because they got engaged with people on social media that pretended to be who they are not mm. they pretend to show an identity that was true but in the end it was a terrible one and there are some people also that in 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 truth they are not what they are actually posting mm. they are just following trends mm. and you cannot be that foolish to just be following trends or allow yourself to be tossed by wind mm. or what is actually trending and that's why we talk about going back to your values mm. your belief mm. your principle what guides you mm. like what's your purpose of even existence mm. like sometimes i wonder do you just wake up and just live to the end of the day and sleep and wake up and just live what are you doing daily to achieve your goal in life have you come to even realizing that the reason why god creates me is to do this is to do that mm. or are you just living like so anyway it will be in toast and that's why you find yourself just portraying different identity on social media today you are this tomorrow you are this even you yourself you are confused mm. when god wants to even deal with you with you or handle your situation like you are not in one place today mm. this time let's go here tomorrow you are there so let's go back to who are we why are we created what's mm. the purpose of my existence i did not die yesterday because there's something that god wants me to do mm. today and tomorrow what is that thing have mm. i come to realizing like to the mm. point of realizing what god wants me to do okay. now on my social media my activity is it contributing to mm. where i'm headed mm. or i'm just being tossed by a lot of questions we need to ask ourselves especially mm. when we engage on activities on social media mm. more importantly is why 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 let's answer the why sometimes mm. i want to make a post i was telling you earlier on about mm. i saw a very funny post yesterday i wanted to post it but 
why mm. and then mm. what's the impression mm. that people will get from mm. it mm. sometimes there are people that your level of assimilation might not be as they are and for some people there are certain things that you take as joke mm. but for them they do this eat more serious than it than that, than that. Mm. so sometimes people there are people that look at our lives as mirror you, they might not tell you mm -hmm. but they so believe in you that okay every day they're praying to god to take you to where to take them to where you are mm. so imagine you missing a step mm. now look at all the people that are following you and holding on to you you also mislead them mm. so in as much as you are boosting i know myself i'm not doing the wrong to all but think about also those people that are also looking up to, to you. you while you want to catch cruise think about the meaning the people will get from it and what you are authenticating mm. by making that particular mm. post like engineer tony said let's promote what we stand for mm. if i am a christian let me be deliberate about that not for me True. to be helping share and promote ideologies mm. that is contrary Sorry. to my mm. belief mm. Because when I when I keep sharing it, it means that I'm just only pretending to be this. This mm. is actually who I am. Mm. Some people will fight you when you want to stand for what you believe. Mm. At, at some point, a, a lady told me that she, she she said she has an issue. It was in a meeting and she said she has an issue with people that are posting scriptures. Mm. That by posting scriptures, you are making them look bad. Mm. So, <laughs> I, I, I was just thinking in my mind, so you should stop so <laughs> like so, so that they don't look stop well, so it is well let's just be true to <laughs> I, well, when you were talking you said um those that died mm. you know you're supposed you that are alive what are you doing mm. a lot of times when you hear people praying sometimes you hear things like some are in the mortuary but we are here that you are here what are you doing do you <laughs> to see that your life is mm. better to see that you're helping mm. someone out there mm. your identity we online to say we are not better than those <laughs> so you know <laughs> so your identity <laughs> online or offline should not change mm. and then you should not get tired of being consistent with your true identity mm. you should never at any point be swayed by another's identity you yeah. should constantly be consistent and you should stand Tony. for the truth i think i'm exhausted i've said okay okay Engineer wow. Tony, Amazing. Jalima, uh joyce jacada thank you for doing this honestly i i i i learned a lot i learned a lot you know I've, I've been sitting down listening you know carefully with all the points you, you are dropping I, I don't know about you out there but i i so much believe there are so many people that uh are really following this program with keen interest taking note you know like we always say we are not perfect but we are trying to see how we will reason together and bring out some of these things that is happening out there that is mis that are misleading people and we'll see how we will we'll, we'll reason together run together and then uh get saved you know together and the end of the day we uh receive the crown yes you are not supposed to separate your real life from your social media handle just know that because uh you are a christian in totality so whatever you are doing it should reflect and you should know that social media is just an additional tool for you you know to uh spread what you know what you believe and what you stand for so i think social media handle you know should do uh more by aiding us to spread the good news so why can't you just take advantage and then let's just be truthful to ourselves and then keep spreading the good news uh this is the much that we can take for today uh hoping we'll meet together on monday if you got tarries so just take care of yourself and then treat the weekend nice help someone and spread the gospel thank you and god bless you bye bye for now